Hey guys, Beast1210 here. Uh, I want to introduce you to a uh, new pack of mine. It's the uh, the Maxpedition Kodiak. Um, first off, I got to tell you, I have not had as many questions about a pack as I have this one. Um, a lot of people are very interested about it, especially when you see it's the Gear Slinger style. So you have the one shoulder strap uh, that comes over, just the profile, um, some of the colors. Um, I got to say, honestly, I've never had this many comments questions about a pack um, again this is the Kodiak gear slinger uh, for all the you know super detailed specs I would uh, suggest going to maxpedition.com um, checking out some of the other color variants this is the khaki and foliage uh, you can see the bag is out of khaki and the uh, the green foliage here is on the straps and um, we're gonna dive right into this guy starters we got the nice Y compression strap here unloads tightens the whole thing down uh, on top you have a bigger pocket than I thought you would have um, honestly and the Kodiak is a perfect size I think for anybody um, good size pouch I've got you know a whistle a couple things strapped in here I've got some batteries back here County Com tool kit uh, shoved right in there and it's a nice thick pocket one thing you should notice is the uh, straps here go all the way through um, so you can easily you know carry things uh, completely through there um, the gear bands on the top do uh, compress it's got some velcro on here um, if I can angle down here um, this actually is a neat feature this front zipper here uh, you can incorporate as a uh, sort of a safety feature so no one can grab your bag while you're sitting in uh, commuting traffic or anything like that um, nice little feature this pouch here is just a nice thin pouch that runs this the front gamut here uh, you can see all the pals uh, webbing you can easily put a nice big you know um, customizable pouch on, on the end here um, the interesting thing about the gear slinger here and the Kodiak and the Sitka are the same as you'll see this guy opens over three signs here um, they also designed it as this is a horizontal carry so certain pouches are horizontal on here um, as well as vertical I just have a first aid kit in there it's got a, a neat really cool pouch uh, right here out of a really tough plastic material never run into this before um, it, it's incredibly strong I was quite amazed uh, so again this is everything on here is designed to be carried horizontal or vertical and um, Honestly, it is super comfortable when you carry it in this, you know, whether you're getting on a bus, um, for you kayakers, it honestly, it feels like a chest rig, like a military uh, chest rig where you should have ammo pouches is kind of what it feels like. It's very comfortable. It's easy to control. You can easily get into all your pockets. Everything is designed to access to be that horizontal carry. Um, grab handle here allows you to swing it around and uh, we'll just keep going through. Nice big pouch for a Nalgene. On this side, you've got more webbing and straps, gear attachment points, uh, axe, anything you'd like. Um, open the sucker up here. Now, when you get to the inside, you're going to see two mirrors of itself. Uh, one is in just an actual fabric, and the other one is a uh, sort of a mesh. Um, but this is a very thick mesh. This isn't like mosquito netting mesh. Um, Interesting feature they do here is they fold over before they uh, sew it. Zipper on the side accesses both pouches from both sides, but as you can see, when I start loading this on the inside, this pouch will unfold where that seam is, uh, which is a really cool feature. Uh, there's also a full access pocket behind both of these on each side. This one does have the Velcro. There is compression, so you can easily do uh, concealed carry um, they also have a lot of really neat pouches on here that are velcro um, whether it be organizers um, you know you, they have their ammos and stuff but really check out some of their new uh, velcro attachment bags um, it's really easy to organize and whatnot but it's also just more than just the concealed carry um, because not only will this do a water bladder but it also has velcro inside there if you're not choosing to carry it that way um, you can add more uh, uh, CCW carry options there. So you have two different versions, because remember, when this is vertical carry, and you get into this pouch here, 
you can access a handgun just as easily as you could with this one through the back. So a couple things I wanted to add here is the, um, obviously you have a left shoulder strap. It has a key keeper. It has a attachment point that'll swing over and clip in to keep it laterally stable. Uh, this does have a whistle on it, which I think is a really cool feature. Uh, there are additional side points. You could easily put a small pouch for compass, you know, GPS, glasses, daily radio, that kind of stuff. Um, again, you've got the, the back pouch for your bladder or your CCW. Um, real nice sturdy handle on top. Loop for your bladder comes out right here. Um, the mesh here, let's see if I can get a little bit closer here. The material they use for the back here, it was hard to describe here. Uh, best, I guess, closest example I could give is sort of like a jersey uniform. Um, almost a like athletic fabric, um, really soft. Um, you know, it's gonna wick away moisture. Uh, I've really enjoyed this so far. This is just gonna be an introduction. Uh, we're gonna put this through its paces as a, uh, a daily commuting bag. Um, it will fit a laptop in there, like a 15 inch laptop. Um, so we'll demonstrate like an everyday thing. We'll probably do some commuting on a mountain bike to work. And then uh, we'll get it out in the, uh, the middle of nowhere there and put it through its paces. Of course, all the Maxpedition stuff, you know, is just built bulletproof. Uh, it has the Cordura, the Teflon lining to shed the water. Um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to putting it through its paces. Um, put some herd on it. Also want to show you the, the profile here. Profile of the bag is nice and slender. Uh, if you look at the, the Falcon, the Pygmy, I believe also the Condor, it has multiple sections. And when that thing gets loaded out, it sticks out a ways, which is nice when you want to load, you know, an amazing amount of gear. But if you look around me here, if I can do a little quick pan here, um, you can see that I'm in an extremely dense, uh, overgrown, not maintained area here. Uh, almost it's a seasonal flooding wetland area. And um, I really enjoy having the more slim profile pack coming through here because I'm not getting tangled up. I'm not getting snagged on the pack at all. And with that other strap, it's not going anywhere. Um, I took a couple, you know, B footage while I was rolling around here with the camera and I was able to swing it all around, grab it. I'll show you that. But um, yeah, super impressed. All right, now as you can see, you swing this around the front and uh, it's absolutely perfect. I have access to all the pouches very easily, um, all the gear. It is extremely comfortable in this position. Uh, you can actually sit and crunch the entire way down. Um, I just, I really enjoy it. I mean, moments like this, I put the camera back in the pouch. Uh, I come to an area I want to film, swing the gear swinger around, pull the camera out, zip it back up, film, put it back, swing it back around, and I'm on the trail. It's uh, super, super great.